Alright, so what's going on, Amor Reviews? And we welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to build laser doors using commands on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So there are a few tutorials on how to build laser doors. I'm not sure if there's any that uses the same commands as mine. However, this is the simplest way you can do it and the very easiest way you can do it. Before I do show you the commands though, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'd be very appreciated. I'm on the road to 15k by the end of the year. So if you fancy joining and helping out, uh, then, you know, you can join the Insane Army. And since I'm helping you, you can help me back. Either way, let's get into the commands. So, um, I'm going to show you an example of how this works first. And then I will show you the commands. That way then you get a rough idea of what I mean. So I'm actually going to quickly set my spawn point here. Um, just so when I do die, I can come straight back here. So we're just going to do... Um, where are the squiggly lines on that part there? Are we just going to... Oh, no. Wait, what? Oh, oh, my bad. Sorry. My bad. I don't I even, even know my own commands. Oh, no. All right. There we go. All right, so I've set, I've set my spawn point here now. And then I can change myself to game mode S. So, you can see I'm in game mode S here now. When I walk through here, nothing happens to me. Since the lasers are green. However, when I press the close button, you can see it, it turns to red. I'm using beacons for this because that's what you have to do since taking a bit of time. You can see that when I now walk through, I die. Because the lasers don't permit me, permit me for going through. If you do build a tycoon, there is a way you can make this so only people who own the tycoon can walk through. Um, I haven't showed you that today, but if you do want me to make an advanced version of this, I guess I can. But when I now open it, I know it's still red, but because it's green there... I can walk through and the lasers will turn green, uh, meaning that I'm now able to access through here. The only issue here really is that sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the lasers to change and you have to have access to the sky. So I've just made this like when you actually walk through, you don't really notice. Before beacons to work, you do have to have access to the sky and you can't block it off sadly, otherwise it will not work. So I'm now, since I've done that, I'm going to show you the commands and then yeah. So, first I'm going to show you how to build a beacon. I'm pretty sure most of you do know how to build a beacon. Um, but just in case you don't, um, I just want to show you how to activate it. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I'll show you how I built these three. I'll just quickly build them here because it's a lot easier. Um, so, to activate one beacon, you literally just need this. Since you're going to be in survival, you don't actually have to make it activate. You just want to customize it like that. And then when you want to place three beacons, you have to make sure there's iron either side of it. You see, when I break that iron there... That beacon turns off. However, if it's surrounded by iron completely, all the beacons will work perfectly. And then you put stained glass over it to change it to the color you want. Um, I know, like I said, pre that's pretty much uh, pretty simple. Sorry, and most of you will know how to do that. I just want to clear it up just in case people don't know how to build a beacon. So I'm going to show you how to open it first, and then I'll show you to close it since there's one more command for that. So you want an impulse unconditional needs redstone command, and you want to slash fill. 246338 246336 stained underscore glass 5. So your command your coordinates are actually going to be different here. However, you can see when I stand here, I'm on 246438. But because I want to build it one block below, it'd be free. And then when I move over here, I am on 2463 or 436. That way then it's changing all of these three to green. So that way then it's basically saying it's open. Once that's open, then you want to chain conditional always active command. I'm going to slash set block 250 534 air. Once again, your command your corners will be different here. And that's just setting this block right here, 250 534 to air. You'll understand why you need to set that in a second. Um, because you need this command block for the close. And I also forgot to mention in the first one, I did say it, but I want to clear up. Send underscore glass 5 is lime. You can change the number to change it to whatever color you want. So maybe if you want it to be purple or yellow instead, you can experiment and change what number that is. Uh, if, you, if you want it to be the bog standard green or lime like I've done, then you want it to be 5. So that way then when I press open, it changes to lime. However, now if I close it, so it kills people. I mean, creative, so it's not going to kill me. You want to press the close button. And it's an impulse unconditional needs redstone command. And a slash fill 246338. 246336 are so just the exact same coordinates. Then stained underscore glass 14. So what it's doing is it's filling where the line blocks were. Um, to, uh, so as you can see, the line blocks right here, the three that were there. To stained underscore glass, uh, stained underscore glass 14, which is red. 
Once again, you can change this to like the blue or to pink if you want it to be a different instead. However, the box down in green and red are pretty obvious because green, green is go and red is stop. But it changes to that. To follow that now, you want a chain conditional always active command and a slash set block 250 534 redstone underscore block. So that's setting that block right there to redstone underscore block where originally we set it to air. So it's just the exact same command blocks but instead of air it's redstone underscore block. You now want this to be a repeat unconditional needs redstone command and a slash kill at E, X equals 246, Y equals 3, Z equals 38, DX equals 0, DY equals 5, DZ equals minus 2. Once again, your coordinates and your numbers will be different. However, I'm, I'm going to explain this to you. So you can see when I stand here, I'm at 246438. When I walk down, you can see my X axis doesn't actually change. However, my Y axis does. Sorry, my X axis doesn't change, however, my Z axis does. So what you want to do is, you want to see what it does. So it goes from 38 to 36. So you want to measure people who are in the minus 2 from that block. The DY is 5 because it's actually going from the third block, which is down here. And you want to make it so it kills people in the radius of all these blocks here. That way then people can't jump over or if they have an elytra they can like fly, fly over the top there. Um, if it's like through the tunnel. Um, that way then you can actually stop people who are completely in this 3 by 3 I believe it is. Um, from passing because it will kill them there. Once again, once I press open now. You can see it ditches the redstone block. Meaning that it's no longer killing people since it's on these redstone. And I can walk through as I please. This is a very easy command and it takes a bit of customization. Um, if you want to hide the lasers, you can't build over it. So you just have to make it like a long uh, tunnel or something. That way then they can't see the sky. Either way, they, they still can if they walk through here. Um, but this is honestly the best way you can do it. I mean, you can use like gates instead. You can make like an opening and closing gates. I've kind of made a video on that with my garage video. Um, but that'll stop waffling. And that's it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. It'd be very, very appreciated. It helps with the retention the more you like it. So if you don't mind spamming that like button, then that would be very nice. If you're on the run, you don't get to subscribe. But like I said, I'm on the road to 15k by the end of the year. So if you fancy joining the insane army and helping me just like I helped you, thank you very much. Here's the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Upload at 7.45 p.m. GMT whenever I do upload a video. So definitely, definitely do the mass out on that. And comment down below what you want to see next, what you thought of the video. And now write this video so it's on the channel. Let me know down below and I'll try my best to make them. But thank you all for watching. Have a great day if you're never watching this. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one, and goodbye. Do on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I find this it. I never listen so to I gotta the nose. Get through I just it. wanna get through it. I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving 